So make sure you stay till the end to watch it! Hey Siri, why are kuzu good for you? Wow, did you know that kuzu is a vine? Kuzu's root, flower and leaf are used to make medicine. It has been used in Chinese medicine and in the Japanese medicine for hundreds, thousands of years since at least 200 BC. It was used to treat alcoholism and today it's also used to treat symptoms like headaches, stomach aches, dizziness, vomiting and even menopause symptoms. It's a very alkaline powder so you can use it to alkalize your body. <laughs> Welcome to Lucy's Healthy Plant-Based Creations! Today, we will be making goo. Kuzu matcha pudding goo. Woohoo! To be honest, today is actually my take two at shooting the video because the first time I did it, I ac accidentally splattered all the kuzu chocolate pudding I made and I made a mess on my kitchen. Anyways, you'll see it in the bloopers next week. So for today, because I just want to try out different varieties to address my, my sweet variety cravings, I've decided instead of making kuzu chocolate puddings, I'm going to make kuzu matcha puddings. This recipe not only is super healthy, but it is also Super simple to make. Okanashimi desu! And here are the ingredients you will need. Kuzu powder, matcha powder, vanilla extract, agave, maple syrup or raw honey is also okay. Plant-based milk of your choice. I will be using almond milk today. Please make sure you have some sort of pudding bowl that you will put the pudding into so you will not make a mess like I did last week or like tiny balls or even teacups are fine as well let's start cooking first of all let's prepare the matcha powder mix around 8 grams of matcha powder So 8 gram is roughly around 2 teaspoonful. And we will be adding 2 tablespoons of water into the matcha powder. Let's mix this. Oops, I'm making a mess already. Let's mix this in the water. Mix it, mix it, mix it. So this is what it looks like. It smells so good. You can smell the matcha fragrance coming out. Next step, we will need to add two tablespoons of the kuzu powder into the pot we will be cooking it in. So two tablespoons. And this really depends on how firm you like the pudding. This type of firmness is about the custard pudding type of firmness. If you like it softer, then use one tablespoon. But I prefer it like the custard mousse type of firmness. So I'm using two tablespoons today. 350 liters of almond milk directly into the kuzu powder. Like so. 
and let's mix it. Make sure the kuzu powder is all dissolved in this. There's none of like, you know, see there's still these things. Make sure this is all dissolved. So the kuzu powder works like a thickening agent. And rather using like the traditional type of thickening agents like cornstarch and stuff, which are highly chemically processed, this is actually healthy. It'll help with your digestive system. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Like so. Mix it. And then you want two tablespoons of agave. This is my favorite part because I get to lick the spoon afterwards. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now this is all mixed in. Let's add the matcha paste we made before and just pop it all in here, like so. And make sure this is mixed in well and the green tea paste is dissolved into this mixture. All right, now let's heat this up. All right, so let's turn the stove on medium heat and we will keep on stirring until it turns into a gooey pudding custardy type of texture and that's when we stop. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Looks like, yeah, it's starting to goo up now. Now the heat is getting warmer. So once it starts to bubble like this, turn the heat down to low and keep on stirring until the texture turns into a custardy texture. So let's keep going for a bit more. See, it'll suddenly start to change. So it's this texture and like, you see the color change and it's bubbled. So it's boiled for a few, like one or two more minutes after it's fully boiled and it's thickened up. Okay, so let's turn off the heat and then we transfer it into the pudding bowl. So let's pour it into the pudding bowl like so. See how quickly it turns into the gel as it cools down? Ta-da! It's ready! Look at it. Woo. I'm gonna have one warm and I'm gonna leave two in the fridge to have a cold tomorrow. If you're going to leave it in the fridge for it to cool down, make sure you cover it up in glad wrap so it won't dry off. Just cover it up and put it in the fridge and you can have it tomorrow. Ta-da, it's ready. Doesn't this look yummy? So this is the warm state I'm going to have it in. So let's see how our kuzu matcha pudding tastes like. Oh, look at this. Ooh, see, it's still gooey. Mmm. Oh my God, this is so yummy. The matcha fragrance, and the slight sweetness of the gave, it's a perfect blend. And you get that custardy texture, which can address that custard pudding craving you're having if you're looking for that texture. But it doesn't come with that heaviness of you having normal puddings or normal custards. And I like it in the warm state. It's like having warm pudding. Here, um. You really have to try this out. It's so simple to make and it's actually good for you because it will help digest your um, stomach. Ta-da, finished! <laughs> and this is what the pudding texture looks like one day after it's been in the fridge. Whoa, it's like cream belay. Look at it. Mmm. Yummy. So one thing I forgot to mention in the ingredients today for you to change the matcha pudding into chocolate pudding is instead of using the matcha powder, just swap it with cacao powder and then it turns into chocolate pudding. It's that simple. If you enjoyed our video today, remember to press subscribe and share this with your friends and family so you can also have guilt-free puddings or custards, whether it's chocolate pudding or matcha pudding. And let me know if you like it. Live healthy, live happy. Woohoo! 
I'll see you next week. Mwah. Age of the plant. Ah. Age of the plant. Ayo. Age of the plant. Ah. Age of the plant. J for ah. Jumbo jackfruit. Woohoo! Hey Siri, why are jackfruits black? Hey Siri, umbrella, tong tong. Today we are going to make the 100% plant-based jackfruit version of a famous Taiwanese dish. Blah. Today we will be making a very famous Taiwanese. Ah, why is it not so So one can uh, around seven stride, uh, two to three tablespoons of a tang a tang Make sure you give the carrot a wash. If you don't have a processor, that's fine. It just means you have to do a lot of chopping. Haha. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, ah, 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 Mmm, yummy! I'm gonna go continue eat my dinner now! It's so yummy! <laughs>